What if Ahmad set out to fix every problem that I personally have with Spelunky 2? A game I absolutely adore, a game I think is absolutely excellent, but I always have gripes about it. This mod is like, I read the description, it's like, do you, do you guys take all of the things I've been complaining about and make a mod to fix them all? Because that's what it feels like. We're going to not do a single run to showcase it. We're going to explore the extent of it. Don't know how many times, how many times we're going to go into these wonderful places. We already have a, even a new person to harass. Ah! Uh, I guess she's just not wearing her hat. That's all that all that it is. Don't know how many episodes it will take, but probably more than one. That's all that's all I have to give you. We're even going to explore a little bit the starting area because it starts with a different save game as well. Like it comes with its own save game. So, you know, we're going to do some work. I mean, do some work. Do you guys ever? Yeah, you, you don't have anything interesting to say. You are all garbage. I wonder if the tutorial has anything. This is Splunky 2.0, 2.5. If I did not make it clear, I don't think I did. I mean, the start there, the start is making it, it. It's just, it's just all, all the same, right? Looks pretty similar to me. Probably we don't care. Let's just go into a regular ass run and see what Splunky 2.0 has to offer. I don't expect a majorly changed experience. I expect Splunky 2. But without any of the annoyances, what is going on down there? <laughs> There's even different music too. What is going on here though? It's an open crate. I wish I had a radio to actually order something. Oh, uh, the description does say there's a new item called the radio. And if you have the radio, you will have pre-ordered items in there. I say pre-ordered items, but what I mean is you will actually get resources out of that looks like there's also different rooms much in the greeny porcini uh vein and we start with the most wonderful perfect music of all time created which is this blunky hd music there is no topping that it is too good well as you start you already made me spend a resource because I didn't realize that this open crate is completely worthless to me until I, I own a radio. Get with the times, I order everything on my phone now. Ooh. I just call Grubhub, what is going on? <laughs> they also changed the fall distance. I am sure that's what happened there. And uh, yo, Uncle Bargo did not just suddenly get attacked with major incompetence. What else does it say in the description that they fix? They also have more level moods, something that we have extremely missed in this Blunky experience. I see that the dwellings are different. I could not tell you, other than the shape of the rooms, I could not tell you if it's like massively different. Different? Yes, I need this delicious turkey. Trigger the arrow. Get Belinda straight in the freaking face. That's what's different about the damsels. There's actual damsels. <laughs> it didn't click for a moment there. I was like, hmm, something's different about this fellow whose flesh I am putting through this exit. Hmm, what changed here? <laughs> ha! Fool. Let me just throw this torch. Obliterate the opposition. Uh, so far... Something I'm noticing, there is no moles. There are lizards. I haven't seen a single mole though. What is going on? I wouldn't outright remove moles from Spelunky 2. I would probably tone them down in some way. Maybe just make them have one health, you know? They, you stomp them once, and that's it. And that's the extent of the mole experience. They are, they are still the exact same mechanics, but it's not a massive, massive pain in your asshole to get rid of them. Maybe that's the way I would balance moles. I would not just outright remove them. Maybe they got moved, though. 
They didn't get removed. Maybe they got moved into a mole level mood, which is also an excellent choice that I only now sprouted into my brain. It's like, you know what? I bet that's what. I bet that's what they did. Uh, let me check for a second uh, who actually developed this. I did not pay attention to that. Got the credits right here. It's developed by the single person Tom Tam, and then he gives many special thanks to all the work that he built upon. The Grinny Porcinis, John GC, very well known developers, Act 05, Blastosis, and all the HD mod crew, which did an incredible job with the HD mod uh, demo that we have seen. And we're very much hoping, I was checking just yesterday, I was like, wonder how the HD mod guys are doing. What the hell just happened here? <laughs> I've been surrounded by horrible monsters. Um, I was checking just yesterday. See, I wonder what the HD mod crew is doing. Wonder how how. <laughs> I wonder how that entire project is going. It is not going so far. I'm sure that they have many real life commitments, and they just work on it when they can work on it. I doubt that they outright abandoned it. It's just a matter of having the free time to do it. I resent the fact that I was deprived of my beautiful shotgun that I had just purchased with my hardened cash. But I guess we'll just carry on with our lives. There was a pond down there full of piranhas. Excuse me? <laughs> what, is this? what is this? Level generation. Do I need to submit a bug report? I see no exit. I see no exit that is possible to be taken without spending a bomb. That ain't right. That ain't right. Tom Tam. Generate me a viable level. You have failed me terribly. I don't know, is that by the sign? Is that a mistake? Probably it's a mistake, right? I would count it as a mistake. Probably you still want to generate levels that do not... Uh, do not impede your progress in a manner that requires resources to progress. This feels like someone's lair. This would be... Filthy... Mole Man's Lair. Please don't make me fight Mole Man again uh, without modifications. I'll take a modification. Oop. I'll take a modification of Mole Man's horrible ordeal. Keys. Okay. I'll, I'll check this out. Okay, well, I guess we'll not. <laughs> Let me just open this door. What's back here? I'll rope. What is going on in this place? Thanks. Thanks a lot for that. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, well, that did not seem very fair, did it? <laughs> we just restart. The mystery continues. Everything was going to be revealed. I was ready to go all the way to the bottom there. Excuse me? Uh, this does not belong in dwellings. What I would... That also definitely looks like a, a bug to me. That is not kosher level generation. Is it actual spikes? You know we gotta te test this, don't we? Yeah, 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 look at that. It is, <laughs> it's just a random thing in the background. That's weird. Also, like this entire little temple cubbyhole doesn't seem right. It just doesn't seem right. All right, we'll just carry on. See what else we can do. Hopefully we can actually make it to the exit. Like, this ladder definitely should generate a ladder at the top so you don't have to jump down. Unless that is exactly your intent. Either way, definitely very different dwellings level. Great job. Well done. I had already been completely screwed by the hell situation. The hell situation was insane! Alright, we're grabbing money, maybe I can just not antagonize the shopkeepers. Look, that is my usual way of doing things, right? That's how I normally operate. I was in the middle of saying, before everything went south, that the way, another great way to deal with moles, I have been bamboozled into <laughs> dropping all the way down here. Uh, deal with moles, ba balance them in some way would be to make them into a level mood. 
and then you have a level just infested with moles, and that's where they belong. That would be funny as hell. Would that be better than what we've got? Not sure. It'll definitely be a nice difference. Nice difference. All right. Let me uh, put a little bit more thought, a little bit more effort into these dwellings. Wonder what is actually called places. The journal was not changed. All right. All right. Let me just uh, get to the bottom, and we'll hopefully carry on exploring. And like I said. I'm not in a hurry. I don't need to see everything in one run. We're going to have a grand old time for a little while. Hmm. Well, you know the murder is happening. Eh, you're not worth shooting at. Let me just drop down of that piece of meat. And we will carry on. It's totally worth a bomb, or is it? Two points of health to put me down to two? I don't know. Eh, I don't need the health. I'm all powerful. So there's a key here. Is that how it works? That's how it works, isn't it? I was uh, being a obnoxious know-it-all earlier, saying, well, you generate a level that doesn't let me do excellent. <laughs> but maybe what... It happens is that it generates a key. These piranhas are a nightmare. <laughs> this, this piranha pit is just obnoxious in the stream. That's a lot of piranhas. But thankfully, they're not hyper aggressive piranhas. Oh, yeah. I can deal with these piranhas. They're, they're much, much, much easier to deal with. Oh, yeah. Rushing water. We like it. Uh, this key allows me to go somewhere. I can't say that I saw a door, but it seems to generate every time. I bet that the door allows me to go... Well, I can't get out of here without my shotgun that I got rid of. So, whoops. This key probably allows me... Can I maybe use one of you turkeys? Two. Two. <laughs> to make it to the top. Yeah, come on, you can do it. Uh, what? Why can't I dis? This is what weird. There you are. That was weird. I couldn't dismount it. I was pressing the keys. Another maniac up there, but where does this key go to? I'm so confused. Hmm. You think that the key allows you to get to the exit somehow? I'm not sure how it works. Maybe I'm too dumb. It's very possible. I'm running out of time, though. Maybe I can use it, use it, use it here, use it here. I'm pressing the use button, but nah. I don't think it's that complicated, is it? Mm, I accept this mystery as something that I'm too stupid to solve. And we're just going to use a bomb to get to the exit. That's the, that's the way this cookie is going to crumble. I should have definitely used the bomb to get a little bit of extra health. I want it. Bruh. <laughs> I want it. I want out. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. I just wanted to throw the turkeys in the place. They didn't work out for me, though. My voice echoes here. The level moves have certainly been enhanced. Not the greatest outcome you could come up with. I think this is safe. Yeah, look at that. But, you know, whipping a... Ooh, look at that. They hold a compass in there. And the bow and arrow? Amazing. Die! Hell yeah. Um, I was in the middle of saying a thing, and then I got completely distracted. The key is to get into this door. I see, I see. But, of course, I have... The previous levels doors. <laughs> God, all right. I got a little intimidated, but it's really not that serious. It's not that serious at all, because we can just come over here and start whipping. You know, <laughs> it's very easy, and we get a nice big fat jar of jazz to put down our gullets. Feels great. Just going to exploit 
these buffoons. Oh yeah, there's one. There's two. You pieces of garbage. Die a terrible death. Let's not get murdered. Huh? 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 My beautiful Ujarai. Give that to me. It belongs to me. Get me out of here! <laughs> alright, alright. We we are primitive life forms. That's actually a dead end. What is this snake pit, brother? You get destroyed. What a nightmare. You guys remember? Remember snake pits? This is actually pretty great. Oh, but there is another arrow, right? I mean, another key right here. So, the one in the previous level was not in order to be able to open this one. It was just a coincidence. Curious? Well, if we know what's what. Should be a mad talk down here, right? No, but there is a secret. Wonder if that is completely by coincidence. There is a mad talk indeed. <laughs> I know the shape of things. I know the code. I have seen. There's also a far more developed back layer. I need to really explore that. Hard to say whether this is trigger or not. There you go. This mad talk is going to solve all my problems. Die a terrible death. Really want to go to the other side. I'm not willing to spend resources to do it though. Kind of annoying. I don't have time. I have like two minutes. We can go down this way. There's just no. Oh, that's right. We have a super long level. Well, screw this bow. I don't give a crap about this bow. I hate it. Okay. Sure, we'll use a rope to get myself this crate. And finding a damsel is just a nightmare. What is going on here? <laughs> like the shape of the levels is really, you know, it's fun. It's just fun to come into an environment like this and just be surprised when you have seen it all a thousand times before. Well, we have a maniac. Definitely one of them come my way I do need to engineer some way to piss him off grab his jetpack and then make off like a bandit how am I going to pull that off though probably just come over here and then jump over here it's only a matter of time until he descends to try and murder me and then that will be my chance in the meantime, I can explore a little bit on this side. Okay, we finally reached the bottom. That's some. Where is this guy? Why is he not... Why did he go down? He's pissing me off. I don't see anybody. Hey, he is just a moron. <laughs> Perfect. I do have a key to open this door. Might as well open it. Do we still have the same old nonsense? That's so odd. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I don't know the purpose of that. Let's not question it. There's an absolute crazy person just stuck in there, huh? And and now I am stuck with a ghost in my ass. Need that. Uh, kind of need to open this up, but not gonna work out. So probably I'm going to end up stomping his ass. And going through the exit, unless he just murders me, which is also a very real possibility. All right, we're good. Everything's fine. I feel forgiven because he was too stupid to realize I stole his ma magic technology. Let's just dig all the way down. We do have a way to the back, but now I'm like, do I want to? Brother, what is going on in this? <laughs> that is not Mole Man. I think... Oh, I get it. I th I'll bet you it's just... Different. It's just different for every for every run. You get a variation. I completely forget that freaking uh, scorpions. They can actually reach you from one block down. That's not something that you think about that often. What a nightmare. At least I want rid of you. There you are. 
So there are definite rewards going back here, but at what cost? Might as well grab this boomerango. Okay. What's back here? Absolutely nothing. You can use bombs to get to the bottom. I wonder if Mole Man is right in there. We don't give a crap. This Scorpion is just a nightmare. I hate him. Alright, let's do things the standard way. Which is, you know, going through the regular... The regular way out here, but... This is just bait. This is bait to kill me. <laughs> you guys want to destroy me. Thankfully, I did get a pickaxe. This helps a great deal. Circumvent this absolute monstrosity of a level arrangement. Get destroyed. I can just dig all the way down to whatever this is. It's either Volcana, the jungle, or entirely different place. I look forward to it. Let's see what we'll find behind door. Oh! Excuse me. Oh, I thought this was the exit, but that's not the exit. That is the exit. And then there's another door here. Clearly, we had to go through door number three. I must. I must find that. Also, I think this bomb will give me dog. Yeah. We are obligated to go through this door. See what is behind it. What is here, though? Hello, gloop. I see. Not terribly interested. Let me just go through here. There, I do have the bow. I think I don't have it anymore, but there is a bow. And now I'm like, uh, do I need to free these idiots anymore? No, it's just Gronk. All right, let's see what's through door number three. I am ever so curious. It looks like eggplant land. Eggplant world. All right, I'll take it. It's certainly slightly more dangerous than your standard eggplant experience. And I embrace it. Looks like it's uh, eggplant world plus... Probably with the same arrangement of the Sunken City, where you go all the way to the top, which is very cool. It is a novelty. It is a novelty for, um, what's it called? The Sunken City. But used as a standard mechanic in Spelunky, why not? More than one place. It does diminish how special it feels. What I'm seeing is way too many enemies, though. A little overtuned with the enemies, but <laughs> it's a, a little overdone. Oh, excuse me. You're undead. Snails are different now. I thought that just one attack would do the trick. It did not. Are you going to attack me? There you are. Gronk, you're far too excited to be in front of me. You are fairly annoying. Really could use... A little bit more health. Does the snail come back? What, how does it work? I'm so confused. Do really you want to get rid of the, the maggot? There you are. Get destroyed. Alright, alright. Good stuff. Oh, almost took it. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> There's too much for me to handle. That is definitely triggered. Ah, oh, you filthy frog. Dirty amphibian. Oh, that's right. S scorpion type. Actually attacks you from one level over. We need help. It's just too many, too many enemies. It's too much. I feel like there's uh, some kind of secret back there. What is going on here? Just <laughs> a narrow trap facing the opposite direction. Well, there goes my beautiful weapon of mass destruction. Kind of need it. This is just an, a nightmare. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Bit of a panic boomerang there. Don't know if you've ever been to Australia. It's, they're very prone to that. They'll just murder you. Murder you real good. Oh, you get stunned. Okay, so you don't just come back to life. On a whim. 
Let's get boomeranged. You dirty ass. Blue frog? Advancing here is a crawl, brother. You just cannot do it. It's holy crap. It is insane. The l amount of enemies in level type 3. I'm wondering if it's an ex the exact arrangement that we're used to, where you have to go through four levels of that, or it's just like a special type of place. I'm certainly going back to find out. Maybe uh, better equipped instead of a primitive garbage ass boomerang, we can go in there with a shotgun. That will be perfection. I would like to grab that crate. I would like to find a shop that I can properly rob. Moles do exist. They're just far more rare. Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate them being a rare enemy. I'm down with it. That being said, moles, while obnoxious, they never really bother me. I never consider them like the main antagonist of the dwelling. The main antagonist of the dwelling, it's the area itself. The boredom that overtakes you when you start seeing the exact same structures over and over. When all the damn dead ends and the silly nonsense kind of starts making all the levels blend together. That's the main enemy of the dwellings. Well, sir, you appear to be having some amazing items for sale. And I completely forgot that you drop a key, so that's the way that, that cookie crumbled. crumbled. You can do your own thing there, brother. You have no choice. No no way to get to me. So is that the way that it just happens? All rushing water levels? Do they all block the way out? I blocked myself out. It seems to be like an actual design choice. It seems to happen in every one of them. Which leads me to believe is like there is some kind of trick to it. You you block it out because maybe the key that spawns in there opens the way somehow. But I am too silly to to figure out how it works. Well, this is a, just a nightmare. <laughs> this is just awful. Mm. And I ain't got the bombs. Oh, but he can maybe get it through there if he doesn't start shooting. Yeah, look at that. Get me out of here. Oh, he even killed himself. I could have grabbed that shotgun. That would have been nice. Okay. I'm noticing if you look at the timer, if you look at the money, isn't there something missing? Something's missing, isn't there? There is no level indication. There is no 1-4. four. What is that about? That seems very much intentional. Probably, uh, if I had to guess, it's like a limitation of this Blunky engine because you are doing so many weird things with it. So, do we have a mole man? What is going on here? I see. So, it's like a non-standard mole man. It's alright, we can dodge, don't worry about it. We don't really have a way to stomp you to death, but I'm just going to do you the standard way. See how it goes. You are getting damaged with every one of your excursions into the wilderness. Come on, bud. Obliterate the level. Oh, there's also a pickaxe right there. I kind of want him to destroy the level, see what happens, see what's in the, what's at the bottom. You continue rolling, do your thing. You filthy porcupine piece of trash. I apologize, I apologize, I didn't mean to be a racist about it. I'm going to slowly drop down to where I want him to be. Yeah, there you go. Keep rolling, keep rolling, scum lord. Is he going to make it there? 
don't know exactly why I want him to roll the way back down there. <laughs> this is a strange choice that I just made. Let me just get you wrecked immediately, get myself extra bombs. Hell yeah. There's also crates in the back here, but I don't know if I am ready to dwell in the damn scorpion land. But something I do want to do is go back to the horrible land of nightmares. Cannot get there without another bomb. Uh, we're going to figure it out. This eggplant land needs to be properly colonized. I cannot let it stand to come in here. A wolf howls in the distance. Everything's just awful. <laughs> Everything's terrible. Maybe whip you. It's like, but you made, you got rid of most, but you put something worse in its place. <laughs> These snails, why do they have three health? <laughs> why would you do that? Uh, if I played this for 70 hours, I will be bitching about the snails. Alright. So why do these nails, which I can easily crush beneath my my boot, resist so much damage? I'll do one of these. And the enemy count is just absolutely insane. Way too much. But my evaluation of that will definitely change if it's just a matter of getting through the one level that is weird, you know? Well, I'll put one of these in there, and you get blown up to bits, and you give me all of that health. You have no health. <laughs> you piece of crap! I needed that health, I needed it. I was counting on it. You gave me nothing. And this is a dead end, all right. Three points of health is not much when you pit it against this giant troop of 70 enemies per square inch. Uh, that has to be triggered, right? Because there's all these enemies around, yeah? This is a little nightmarish. I feel like I should be carrying that rock. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Careful. It's triggered. Good, good. Full concentration here because holy crap can er can disaster strike in a second oh and the, <laughs> the blue frogs too is like everything is coming together to destroy me here but it's something definitely got rid of a uh, of a uh, snake okay, let's go through the bottom i guess I'm seeing the other poison dropping down, so we gotta time that nicely. Whew! Oh! Okay, good enough. That is not triggered. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If I stand here, it's bad. This is just terrible. <laughs> I hate everything about it. Uh, I guess I'll use a rope. I need to use another rope, but no. I can just do one of these. Grab me the arrow. Murder you! We're getting to the top. There's also some kind of something over there. I need to see it. What? What the freaking hell is going on here? I have no interest. <laughs> no interest in a bow and arrow. Give me a freaking musket. If you must give me a low... Oh, come on. I wanted to drop there. If you must give me a low-tech solution to my problems, give me a musket. I'll be good. Ooh okay, alright. Oh, we are slowly making it. Well, that was a terrible shot. It worked out, though. Ooh, baby. There you go. Please tell me that it's a one-time only. If I have to go through four of these... I might just pass out. I might call it a day. What is up here, though? There's nothing, huh? Just an open area? There is a door. Some kind of back level. With a crown? Very interesting. 
seems like the timer on this one is super heightened. You had to bomb your way in, huh? Bunch of black knights as well. Very upsetting. Fine, I'll, I'll bomb my way in. I am not against it. Using siege weapons and artillery. Yeah, you are, uh, you have Hawkman AI. Okay. I want the crown, though. Yeah, you can do your thing, your knightly silly thing. And we had the hedge it as well. All right, all right. I cannot want the bow. The bow is fairly useful. But uh, I'm, I'm on my time limit, brother. Get me out of here. We got ourselves a crown and the head jet. I don't know what the hell value does that have, but please tell me. It's a one-time thing where you just get yourself a cool little castle. Bruh. Something groovy awaits. That's new. That's new and exciting. Oh, it seems like the super exaggeration of enemies is just the first one. Because it's, 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 it's such, uh, you know, a momentous occasion grabbing the quest item. But man, it's, it's rough. I appreciate the extra challenge, though. Son of a bitch. <laughs> it was only a matter of time. I am only surprised it took that long. Kind of on a timer now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's over. It's over, brother. There is a little, too little, too late shotgun. I'm glad that at least I got this emerald. At least we got to find out what is the deal. You know what is the deal? I'm gonna be back. It's Lunky 2.5. You haven't seen even the, even one tenth of it.